living aboard for 10 years. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. Well, Herbie's been 10 years, I've been eight. So when a person lives aboard, they amass a lot of stuff. There's a lot of filth that gets kind of forgotten about and nooks and crannies. What wisdom really needs is a deep, deep cleaning, especially after five years of sailing full time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start this big project. We're gonna empty wisdom out. We're gonna take all of our stuff and we're going to make it so that everything is accessible and we can just get in there and clean, clean, clean. And there's some things that we need to redo, like all the rattan uh, that the birds have chewed up and just, just total makeover. Wisdom needs it, wisdom deserves it. First thing we're gonna start with is clothes. This is also a fantastic opportunity to just go through our inventory of stuff because this is a minimalistic lifestyle, but you still manage to amass a ton of stuff. So we're gonna take this as an opportunity to do a huge purge. We're gonna throw away or give away a lot of things. Slowly but steadily, we've been getting everything off the boat that way we can do the really, really deep clean that it needs. So this is the last load that's coming out of here. That way we can start scrubbing and scraping and just cleaning everything. Cause it's, it's been a long time, it's due. So we have worked really hard to empty wisdom of all of the stuff that we have accumulated after 10 years of living aboard. Now we get to do a deep clean that we've been talking about. And that's just the very first thing we need to do on wisdom because guess what guys? It's gonna be the first sale with our baby, um, but he's not gonna be in the videos, which means that she needs to be sale ready and she is far from seaworthy right now. Wisdom, has a lot of cosmetic stuff that she needs, but also structural. The stem, the whole stem needs to be replaced. We don't even know the extent of what needs to be done because we haven't gotten in there yet. But if that breaks off, then we lose our head stay, which means our mask could fall down. So um, that's a little important. The other thing we need to do is switch from internal to external chain plates. So that's gonna be a whole project that needs to get done before this summer. So we're kind of switching our focus right now from wind puff to wisdom uh, because these are gonna take priority now. We wanna sail. So first things first, deep clean. Those 
tonic waters are from Suriname, South America. <laughs> Whoopsie, forgot about those. And why did we have tonic water? Well, we learned that gin and tonic can actually help to prevent malaria. So since neither of us had a malaria shot, we just got a bunch of gin and tonic and took it with us to South America. So that's actually from, I think, Gibraltar. <laughs> now, the reason that gin and tonic does actually stave off malaria is that the tonic water has quinine in it. And quinine is a known anti-malarial drug. The problem is quinine will also make you go crazy. So someone who drinks a lot of gin and tonics and acts a little nutty, that's why. It's, it might be them, but it can also be all the tonic water they're drinking. So fun fact, but they won't get malaria. It's a great deal. So we've gotten the boat cleaned completely. We replaced all the doors with the torn rattan that the birds chewed holes in. We got that fixed. Now it's nice, pretty bamboo. And we emptied out all the stuff that we were carrying. And the crazy part is the stuff that we were carrying. I had spare parts to things that I removed from this boat over 10 years ago. And we still had the parts for it. So that, that was pretty ridiculous that we had. But now all that's come out and the boat has shed a lot of weight. And as a result, the water line has come out of the water a lot. We're several inches higher, which means our draft is now several inches shallower. Well, with that, Wisdom is clean. She is cleaner than she has been in over 10 years. And we couldn't be more happy because the next thing we're gonna do is change the chain plates. We're going to make them from internal chain plates to external chain plates. That's a really big job. We're super excited to get started. Yes. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.